Seven Laws of Noah, God's Plan for Living a Good Life. Rabbi Yachmel Altman. We looked at the field, not a house, street, or light. Yet a few months later, all new homes, what a sight. Look at the big field, only grass on the ground. A few months later, tall buildings can be found. Did they pop up at random or grow from a rock that was there? No, we know there must be a builder with materials, machines, and great care. In much the same way, this world did not just appear. Everything had to be designed and built with thinking and care. It is clear. The building is God, who makes everything and consistently watches it through summer, fall, winter, and spring. God wants us to live in a beautiful, wonderful place. So he created a whole universe, putting each star and planet in place. The rocks, water, and air, and everything living as well. But it's good to, but it's to people he gave rules to live by, which this book will tell. Long, long ago lived a man. Noah was his name. He was a righteous person, while everyone else played a game. They did not care about each other, they killed, hurt, and stole. They took each other's spouses. Doing good was not their goal. Their courts ruled that crime was a great thing to do. When God looked to see who was good, only Noah and his family were true. God decided he would flood the world, to clean it completely, and that Noah should build an ark to save all kinds of animals and his family. The people laughed and joked while Noah built his ark. He tried to let them know, but they continued in the dark. Noah gathered fruits and vegetables to keep his family and the animals alive. Then God sent pears from all the animals, so in the ark they will, would survive. God said, take seven pairs of each pair kind to bring sacrifices on arrival. When Noah came off the ark to thank God for their miraculous survival. When Noah came off the ark, God gave him seven rules so people would live happily and peacefully, not like before when they were fools. From Noah's story, we can be certain God makes uh, and cares for each thing, whether an ocean, a mountain, a person, or a bird's wing. God makes every person with thought, love, and concern to follow the seven laws of Noah, which we need to learn. Some brave people fight fires that burn. Other people teach children and help them learn. Others build houses or farm the lands, but all have these rules on which the world stands. God created this world and everything. Looking at the world should cause us to sing. We've been given the resources that we need. If we all work together, we can succeed. We must care for each other too, helping each other to learn and to do. Taking care of animals, plants, soil, and water can be fun for each son and each daughter. When we follow God's rules and all live as we should, God will award us with, us with a world of plentiful, wonderful good. A world with plenty food of food where no one will go hungry and all the laws will be kept so no court will need a joy. With Noah's laws we hold the key to make a world that's problem free. It's up to you and up to me to share them with friends and family. Then we'll have the Holy Temple here again, a house of prayer for every nation, the place where godliness will dwell with miracles beyond imagination. The King Mashiach from the line of David will teach God's wisdom far and wide. 
It's for this the world was created, and when you help, you give God pride.